What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Game, and welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back. We're gonna test out, test out Frost Fang's armor and see what we got going on here. See if there's any meta sets, anything that could use for a long sword. I heard this punishing draw on one armor piece, so we're gonna see how that is. My family. Without further ado, let's dive in. So let's start off with the we uh Let's we do armor. Let's start off with the weapons first. Nah, nah, nah. Let's start off with the armor. Let's, let's start with the armor. Let's get to it. What are we here for? We're here to talk about what this man is gonna bring to the game. All right, we'll start with the alpha set first. So alpha set, let's preview it first. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Beta. Ooh, ooh. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. So let's go alpha. First things first. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one. Let me move this out of the way. So two, one. And critical eye, two levels, and quick, quick sheet. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Slottage. And three, two. Attack boost three and critical draw. Nice, nice, nice. Not bad, not bad. Critical eye and slugger. Two and two. What was it? Three and two. Okay. Three, three, one. Quick slice and critical draw. Not bad at all. This is a big punishing draw stunning set with slugger level three on. That's really good for a hammer. Goddamn. And attack. The only thing is the slottage isn't that good on the first one. Only two level one slots and attack jewel. But slugger three, I mean, that's not bad at all. Slugger three wouldn't be bad. Okay, so far, what do you guys think? Let's see what the set bonus looks like. Set bonus. Frostfang Absolute Art. As a stun effect to draw attacks, it slightly increases. Punishing draw on one piece, bros. One piece. So you'll be able to stun on your draw attacks. So I Slash will be able to stun with that one with that one piece on we have three pieces of it increase the maximum level of slugger skill so this would be going with super crazy ham wood hammer that's what you'll put this on so this wouldn't necessarily benefit the longsword this definitely would to make that is slash even better with this one piece so now let's take a look at what the beta set looks like so what do you guys think before we dive in is it good you guys pause the video if you don't know yet if you haven't got a chance to check it out put your votes down below say yes it's good or no it's terrible you think it's gonna be terrible all right i'll give you guys like a second Okay, we're back in it now. Let's check out the beta set. So beta set, oh, okay. Two critical eye, three of uh, three, below four, level two and level one. I, that's probably one of the best head pieces out there as far as slottage. That's really good. And two critical eye, that could be useful. This could be useful. Right now, the throne is held by Raging Bracket Deal. Uh, you can't beat this one. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I said, never, forget what I said. <laughs> two level fours and level one and level weakness X point. No, 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 Raging got that one beat. Okay, next slot. Okay, three attack boosts of level three, level four, and level two. Because it has two or three attack boosts and a decent slottish, that might that might do something. Agitator two and blast attack. Blast attack you don't need. I'm sorry, see. Agitator two, four, two, one. Four, four, two, attack three. Close, close, close. Okay, woo! Two critical eye and two level four slots. That's the one. That's the one. That one is nice. That one is definitely nice. Let's see what we got here going here. So you can switch it out between Agitator and this. They're, which one's more expensive? Agitator is more expensive to get because it takes level two. So Brady might get it on this one. But look, I will be okay with sacrificing that Agitator, two of them, because I got level three, level four jewels, and get Punish and Draw by just using the arm piece. So like, I'm okay with using that. That's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, quick sheet. This one is kind of not that good. I don't really use quick sheet. And the slotters is okay. Four, three, one. What's over here? Yeah, the slotters is better here, but you get two added, three agitators. You want to go that route. Last but not least, we got, ooh, two level fours and attack. Oh, that leg's looking good. Okay, okay. This leg might get it. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Weakness exploit? Two of them? That's an expensive skill compared to attack one, which you get level one slot. And you have two level fours. Oh, and level four, level two. So, mm, yeah, it's, it's essentially the same thing. Because I could just put two attack slots there, or I could just put two uh, level attack, two level four attack slots, jewels in there. So, this has some good potential. I think the, set, the piece I'm going to use to get punish and draw is the arm piece. I think that's that's the wave right now. I'm just going to make a set real quick and kind of see what we can put together since we can make this one already. Might as well. That's, that's the one I'm going to deal with. Next, we'll look at the weapons, and then we'll make a set real quick and see what we can do. Equip it. Not now. What else can I make? The legs. The legs are kind of good. The head. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The head's kind of good. Head's okay. Head's okay. 
That one, I'm on the fence about. Has some good potential. Has some good potential. That's a pretty good one as well. This is level three, and oh, this is this, this might be the one. This might be the one. Yeah, this might be the one. Or the leg. What should I get? What's more efficient? Four, two, three. Am I all better off or worse off? I think I might be worse off on this one. Cause I would need two, 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 four. That's five. Unless I do other one. It's, oh, it's same thing. Cause two. That's, no, it's better off the other way. Yeah, this is better than the legs. So we'll get this piece. Cause I'm better off. I have five attack. Cause I have one attack slot in there. Plus you get three. That's five. Easy. Versus the other one, you had to put. You get one level, level, level attack, and you have two level four slots. You got to put two attack fours in there to get the same amount, which is five, which you get for less pieces here. So not bad, not bad. We're still calculating. We're going to do a stream. And we're going to check it out together and make some crispy sets. Let's check out the weapons now. So weapons. Let's start with the long sword. Let's see what they look like. Is this no? Ooh, okay. That's a pretty sexy blade. Okay, okay. So naturally, as yes, it's going to be an ice weapon, that's a pretty good amount of ice as well. 540 ice, not bad. 50% affinity, 891 attack. Uh, the attacks on a little low. A lot of white sharpness. A uh, good amount of purple sharpness. This is a good weapon to fight against. Um, Electrion. God damn. And it has two level one slots. Oh no no, no. it doesn't have any slots on it. So that's not bad at all. No slottage. That's the only downside to it. Like we need some slottage on our weapons, man. What do you mean, Capcom? Mm, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna guess none of the other weapons gonna have any slaughter on them as well. That one looks pretty cool. This is the great sword. Ooh, that looks clean. Just like his tail. Good amount of damage. Ice 615. A good affinity. So we expect a good amount of affinity from these weapons. Essentially, we're just checking out the styles right now. Okay, I like that. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, oh, those do blades are clean. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. This is dope. This is gonna go the hunting horn. And it's a rarity 11 weapon. That's interesting. If it's a rarity 11 weapon, that means we can put like custom upgrades on it as well, I believe. We might be able to. That's clean. I like this one. Nice, nice, man. Looking really good. Beautiful, clean. Raging Wolf Fang. Ooh, I like the charge blade. The charge blade is nice. The impact file, good, 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 good. Everything pretty much the same stuff. Affinity and a good amount of white sharpness and purple sharpness. Switch axe. I like the designs. The designs are really nice. Fits the monster very, very well. Ooh, clean. I like the little glowing light on the weapon. Nice. Beautiful. Nice and compact. Oh, that was dope. That's a dope sniper. Very, very clean. Last but not least, the bow. Very good. I like it. I like it. Now, let's build a set. All right, so this is a set I got so far, and I'm kind of stuck right now because I have nothing else I can put in here. I don't know what to put. So we got attack maxed out, critical eye maxed out, added chair maxed out, health boost, critical boost, weakness, excellent, peak performance, and mind's eye on this set. So nothing can stop us with this weapon. I'm using the Safi Shatter Blade, and this one is the one I have with augments of attack all the way, and I got, I got and sharpness level 6 on it. So we're not worried about master's touch since there's so many good jewels available i could even put a sharp jewel on there if i want but i don't necessarily need to because that's a that's a good amount of white sharpness to last one full round if i go into a little bit of blue it's okay so now i have this one last level four slot i don't know what i want to put here we have literally anything you can think of like i might just go ahead and put an evasion jewel in here to give me a little bit more protection but like we're in a place where you guys can be creative so maybe since we have punish and draw on our attack on our build, we could take advantage of that. Yeah, punish and draw. What's the skill that goes with punish and draw? Is it slugger that gives you more stun? Since I have stun effect on it, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it might be stun. So we'll see what we can do to put it on there to kind of like maximize our build a little bit. I can put handicraft four on there if I want more sharpness. There's so many options you can put. I think I, I'm not sure what I want to land on. So this is what I decided to go with. I decided to go with slotting in slugger level three on my mantle. That way, when I put that mantle on, which is has amazing uptime. If you guys are using glider mantle, I don't know what you're doing, but I love using it. So now my slug stun power increased by 40%. So now when I use IS slash with that mantle on, I hit 40%. And by without the mantle, I get additional 20% of my slugger damage. So this is set. We're going to be using it on stream right now. Hope you guys love it. This is the one I'm coming with my daily driver going forward since we have punish and draw switching up the meta a little bit but if you're new to the channel subscribe like people give a thumbs up my family till next time dear gamers signing out